today I have got home from work and I've noticed that I've got a package. I know who this is from. This is from JSB. I recently contacted a few companies, which I'll explain very soon. But I asked them if they could help support me with a lot of pellets because I'm going through a lot of pellets when I'm doing my accuracy testing. And when I do those accuracy tests, I'm actually at a financial loss. I only make about, you know, on average, about £15. Reached out to JSB, a few other companies, and some of them replied, some of them haven't. This is from JSB. I know there's some pellets in here. I think they've sent me quite a lot, but there's one box as well, which I'm not sure what's in it, because this is pretty light. So we'll open that one last. I'm not sure what, uh, what pellets have been sent. I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be a big variety. So they just said they were going to send me some they said they were going to send me some pellets. So I just thought I'd do it. Just thought I'd open them as I make this video so you can see my reaction at the same time. I've just got to get my hand in here to get this first one out. Okay, so let's see. What do we have in here? Oh, we have some JSB knockout slugs in 2-2. Interesting. Let's have a look at these. Okay, so we've got some JSB knockout slugs, two tins there, 25.39 grain. That's really, really interesting. Really good. And in the same box as that one is some 177 8.44 grain pellets. Right, so we do have a bit of a, a bit of a mixture going on there. Let's see what else we've got. And these ones are different. I'm going to make a mess here. JSB Exacts. Uh, no, yeah, Express Diablo, 7.87 grain in weight. It's a really lightweight. And some JSB Knockout 177 slugs. What are these? 10.03 grain. So, yeah, really happy to be re to be receiving some slugs. Let's see what else they've sent me. Like I said, I contacted quite a few companies and some, some replied, some didn't. I don't mind if they reply and saying they're not going to send me some, but it's, it's when I get ignored. So JSB have been very, very kind. So more 177 pellets, 7.33 grain and really lightweight. Some more 177 slugs, 10.03 grain. They'll keep me going for a long time. So, oh yeah, this is this is quite an impressive haul. Let's see what else we got. This is like Christmas. I just thought it'd be quite interesting for me to, uh, you know, to open these at the same time, uh, so you can just experience my joy. Right then. So we got some more. What are these? 177, 13.43 grain pellets. That's a heavy pellet in a 177. JSB Monster Diablo. And uh, looks like we've got some more slugs in the bottom here. What have we got? What have we got? These are 177. These are the 10.03 grain again. Oh, I've got about six tins of them now. So far, I'm going to have to make way. Let's throw some things away. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh, these are different. Here we go. Looks like 177 again. JSB Hades in 177, 10.34 grain. Two of those. <laughs> some more, some more slugs. Oh, these are a different weight. 177, 13.43 grain. Two tins of those. Very, very nice. And the last box within this box of box number one of three. Got some more slugs coming here. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? 2 2. Oh, this is a different weight. JSB knockouts in 2 2, 28.55 grain. I didn't know they existed, so that's really, really interesting. And some 177 JSB heavies, 10.34. Really good, popular pellet. Right, so that's, that's one box. Now I've got to open the other one so let's just shift a few of these tins over here 
I have no room for all these pellets and slugs, but I'm surely going to message JSB and, you know, thank them a lot for this because when I actually ask them, I uh, sent them a link to my channel and said, this is what I do. I don't get any financial support for this. Um, but people seem to like the videos. First thing they said was, what's your t-shirt size? So I'm assuming I have some kind of t-shirt in there. I'm not sure what else is going to be in there. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's try and get this first box out again. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got in this one. Ooh. Okay, some... Uh... Oh, wow. I didn't know they existed. JSB knockouts in 2.2, but 20.083 grain. So that's that's quite a lightweight slug. Yeah, same one again. It's usually two of each. And then I've got some JSB... Jumbo Express in 2.2, 14.35 grain, so that's another another weight of pellet to try. So I don't think I actually have any of those. And another box, let's see what else we got. Okay, so it's 2.2, 25.39 grain, JSB knockouts. A couple more of those. And these are 2.2, 13.43 grain pellets. Oh, I haven't had Christmas like this in a long time. This really does help you financially when you make these types of videos. A lot of people don't see this behind the scenes, but there's a lot of work which goes into it. So this is a massive, massive deal for a company to really help you out. Some more JSB knockouts, 25.39 grain. And some standard size JSB jumbos, 15.89 grain pellets. I think my Virac likes them actually. Oh, I think it's second favourite. I think, I think it actually likes JTS. Oh, now this is this is different. These are different. Wow, 177 JSB Target Flathead. They are 8.02 grain. I'll give them a try. They'll be interesting out at 40 yards. I think it's mainly for pistol work, that kind of thing. But it's always worth a try. And some more... JSB knockout in 25.39 grain. Obviously these these slugs come out in 216, 217, 218, so there's those tiny little differences. Okay, so Ooh, I think this is the new Hades actually. In 22, 25.39 grain Hades. So that's quite a meaty Hades. Same one again. And some 18.13 grain 2.2 pellets. I'll go through a lot of them. And on to the last box within box number two. We have the 2.2 cal 25.39 grain jumbo monster. And the last one is standard size JSB Hades in 15.89 grain. So that is all the pellets from JSB. Uh, wow. So yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll quickly show you how many pellets there are now. So I'll just rotate the camera because that is insane. You might see my reflection in the TV. But that is a lot of pellets. And also, not just that, this is actually another company here. I've got this baseball cap from Virac and all these pellets in here. I think it's eight, eight to nine tins. This was actually from Virac, so I contacted them. They sent me some pellets and they even sent me a 20 cal. So it's the only tin of pellets that I have in 20 cal. So uh, if I ever did a pellet test with a 20 cal uh, rifle, I've um, only got one, one pellet to try. Right then, we have one more box to open. So let's have a look at that one. Oh, 
Whew. Right then. Right then, last box. This one's quite lightweight. I have no idea what's in here. Just be a few little accessories. So what do we have? Ah. So I've got a JSB cap. Quite a nice little design that one as well. JSB match Darbor on the side. Very nice. We have, this looks like some stickers and something else in here. Let's get this put open. I think there's a key ring. Ah, oh, it's a bottle opener. In the, oh, that's quite good. It's a bottle opener. JSB at the bottom there and the logo in the shape of a pellet. I think the missus will like that one. And we have a few assorted stickers. Um, we've got a gorilla for some reason. Uh, it looks like an old logo, lo old logo, possibly. So yeah, a few little stickers there. We have, looks like a t-shirt. Just open this up. I do like a t-shirt. Ah, there you go, look at that. You got the flathead pellet there, and then on the back I've got the logo at the top. JSB. Very nice. Oh, that's not it. Oh, I think this is a jumper. Is a jumper? It is. So I've actually got a jumper or sweater for all you American people. I asked for a large because I'd rather have something too big than too small, but I think that looks the right size. It's another nice, nice accessory. A water bottle. I'll tell you what, my missus is going to love that. She likes a good water bottle. She's always drinking water. Something I don't touch. And the last thing in here is, I'm not quite sure what this is. It is. Is it a, is it a snood? It is. Hey, look at that. I'm hoping this is not going to muffle the microphone. I do like this is really, really thin, you know. It's really thin, really stretchy. So yeah, right. Well, I'm gonna say a massive thanks to JSP. There's quite a lot of things that they sent me there. I had no idea they were going to send me all that lot, and then all this lot. Um, I don't know how to work it out. I think it's about 50 tins, something like that. Yeah, so massive credit to JSB. There are, I'm going to put out a little tiny video on Instagram as well. But to do all this accuracy testing, it really is expensive for me to do this. So really appreciate JSB for doing that. I also contacted Byrak. They sent me some pellets as well and a few accessories. Uh, who else was there? Because I don't want to forget anyone. Wildman, Wildman Slugs, uh, Liam. He always reaches out to me. He always, he always helps supply me with some of the slugs as well for the sub twelve testing and to go into my impact. The Wildman Slugs work really well in my impact. Uh, who else? I've got some Day State as well. Day State contacted me. They, they actually let me borrow their air rifles. So if I want to borrow an air rifle to do an accuracy test. Uh, I just let them know and they'll send me one and they've also said to me we don't want you to be biased we want something which is real world so kudos to Day State there and they also sent me a few pellets uh, I'm trying to think who else is there uh, I'm gonna forget I know I am anyway for pellets yeah they're, they're the companies that have really helped me out recently uh, really really appreciate it so companies like that if they ever do anything for you, you really got to thank them because, you know, that, that's, that's, yeah, I don't really know what to say because that's, that's just fantastic. But look at all that. I wish I had an FAC in 2.2 because I don't have an FAC in 2.2. So I think some of these heavier slugs might struggle in sub 12. But, but yeah, I'm certainly going to give it a go anyway. You'll see what's coming up.
So yeah, I hope you like this little unboxing. I certainly did. It's like Christmas for me. But you got to see my little surprise as I'm going along. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers, stay tuned. There's plenty of action coming and plenty of other things which are happening currently behind the scenes. So stay tuned and you don't want to miss what's coming up.